Hi there, welcome back to KIPP DC Math. Today we will use repeated addition to describe arrays. Yesterday we learned that an array is a fancy second grade word for a rectangle. And arrays have equal rows and equal columns. I want to start by reminding you about rows. Rows always go across. Say that with me. Rows go across. But we know that arrays also have columns, and columns go up and down. Say that with me. Columns go up and down. Very good. So yesterday, we helped Bruno describe arrays by looking at the rows. So when we looked at this array, we saw four groups of three. And the repeated addition number sentence that matched the rows, the groups that went across was 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 12. But today we're going to switch it up. Instead of looking at the rows, we're going to look at the columns. So when we look at the columns, we see different groups. Hmm. I know that columns go up and down. So here I see one group, I see two groups, and I see three groups. And I see four in each group. I see four here, I see four here, and I see four here. So if I wanted to describe the columns of this array, I could say three groups of four. One group of four, two groups of four, three groups of four. And if I want to write repeated addition to represent the columns, I would show that there's four and four and four. So the repeated addition number sentence that matches is 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals m. Now, I'm describing the same array, so I'm pretty sure that there's still 12 treats. I didn't take any treats away or I didn't add any treats, but let me add 4 plus 4 plus 4 to make sure there's 12. Hmm. Well, I see 4 plus 4, and I know that 4 plus 4 is 8. Now all I have to do is add 8 and 4 more. So let me press 8 and count up 4. Do that with me. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. Whether I describe an array using the rows, the equal groups going across, or whether I describe an array using the columns, the equal groups going up and down, the total will still be the same. So it's two ways that I could describe the same array. One way is I can look at the rows. The other way is I can look at the columns. Let's work on another array together. When I look at this array, I see equal groups going across the rows, but I also see equal groups going up and down the columns. So let's work together to use our groups of language to describe the columns, the equal groups that are going up and down. Very good. We see four groups of six. We see one group of six, two groups of six, three groups of six, and four groups of six. Now let's find a repeated addition number sentence that matches the columns. Very good. Six plus six plus six plus six. Now let's work together to figure out how many there are in all. We know there are lots of ways that we could figure out how many there are in all. We could count them all. We could press six and count up another six and count up another six and count up another six. If we know how to skip count by six, we could use that pattern. Or we could look for combinations of numbers we know to help us add. Pick one of those strategies to figure out what 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals. Go ahead. Very good. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 24. There are 24 in all. Okay, friends, today when you're looking at your arrays, make sure you focus on the equal groups that are going up and down. That means you're looking at the columns.